got like disgusting. <laughs> This is Jackie with All Access, and I'm here with Kayflay at the, where are we now? Orlando. Orlando, that's right. Uh, Orlando stop of the Vans Warped Tour. It's a little bit sweaty as usual, but whatever, we're here. Um, for those that don't know uh, about your music, you are a DJ of sorts. You bring electronic music. Uh, what stage are you playing? Uh, I'm on the B-Port stage, and yeah, it's kind of like an alternative hip-hop indie hip-hop kind of thing so yeah it's a lot of fun uh where do you pull your musical influences from i mean to be honest a, a little bit everywhere i think the the music's always been a little bit in between genres so kind of from a lot of different places i listen to a lot of indie rock um and also a lot of electronic as well so i think it's sort of a, a blend of those things which is always great for warped because there's always a blend of a bunch of different genres um how do you go about pulling ideas for your set I mean, right now, I just put out a record three weeks ago, so the set, at least here on Warped, is, is pretty much focused on new material, but in general, I mean, we there, there's a lot of material, because uh, prior to this, I put out two mixtapes, three EPs, so yeah, there's a lot of material to draw from, and I think it's just about making every night unique and different and interesting for people. So you make sure you change up the set in some way? Yeah, no, I think it's it gets kind of... You get a little bit too autopilot if you're always doing the same thing. At least me, like, I'll zone out. I'll just kind of forget where I am. So it's nice to always keep it fresh. I think that would be a really good idea. So what song on your latest album is sort of the most indicative of your sound? Um, I don't know. I think um, I think maybe the, the second track off the album is called Make Me Fade. It's a little bit, there's obviously like a hip-hop element to it, but it's also kind of melodically based and uh, yeah I'm going with that one okay sounds good um, playing here on the Beatport stage at Warped can be a little bit tricky because it's not a full band it's not um, you don't have the ability to have the sort of lights and other um, benefits of playing a club so how do you make sure that you keep fans interested and engaged I think a lot of it is just kind of like this sounds simple, but just eye contact, connecting with people, like, I mean, it, you'd be surprised, like, if you look anyone in the eye, it's, it kind of changes the dynamic in a, in a very major way, and I think, you know, um, it's a short set, so for me, too, it's just about keeping a fast pace and keeping it moving, and I think, uh, yeah, it's a real, it's a very interesting challenge to, like, you know, we played at noon today, so it's very, it's just very different, and I think it's helping me as a performer, too, to be able to, like, kind of be ready at a moment's notice to to get into like an emotional space especially when you find out that morning what time you play that's got to be difficult do you prefer these outdoor venues now or do you still prefer the intimate club scene I like I like an indoor show I mean I you know we we have lights and other things that go with it so that that's sort of a part of it but I mean you know a festival atmosphere is great and it's a great way to have your music discovered and it's you know I think the enduring the conditions brings everybody together so it's nice I think it's sort of like a rite of passage or, or, or a check mark on your bucket list of like, hey, I survived this. Um, you mentioned sort of uh, about the musical process. Growing up, what sort of music did you turn to as a teenager when things were, you know, teenagery and difficult? <laughs> I, uh, I listened to a lot of Red Hot Chili Peppers, which, you know, I think they're also a group that's kind of in between genres and they're, they're, some of their stuff is just super emotional, some of it's super rowdy. Um, Listen to a lot of that. Listen to a lot of Outkast, a lot of Fiona Apple, Liz Fair, PJ Harvey, stuff like that. Lots of other good female artists that you mentioned. Uh, did you go to the AP Awards? I actually, we, we had to do um, like a live session in D.C., so we had to fly and do that. So I was kind of bummed, but everybody else went and I think had, had a good time. I saw some pictures that were incriminating but good. Make sure you go online and, and check the feed. There were so many great collaborations that were one-off and amazing. I mean, got to see Coolio. Who gets to see, who gets to see Coolio in 2014? I mean, I did not see Coolio. <laughs> Sorry. Next year, next year. Um, who would you like to... I know, it's so hard, right? Um, who would you like to collaborate in the future? Uh, that's hard to say. Um, I think... I've been listening, this would be kind of a weird one, but I've been listening to the Absol record a lot, and I love him. I love all the TDE dudes. Um, so, yeah, Absol right now. So what's up next for you after Warped Tour? 
After this, uh, doing a headline run in the fall in support of the album, and yeah, just trying to stay on the road as much as possible. We'll check out the latest album from K Flay and stay tuned for much more. This is Jackie. Thanks to All Access. Ah, it's cool. It's it's the warped atmosphere. It makes you do crazy the things. It's driving me insane. I also drank a monster before this, so I think. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's dangerous stuff. Well, stay tuned for more. This is Jackie. Thanks to All Access and In the Key of Change. <laughs>